Hello out there. This is going to be a one of a two-part video I'm going to do pertaining to a serious rust issue on this car. This is going to be a quick video. My second video is going to break it down in extreme detail where I can prove that these rusted suspension parts are not from transportation or normal um, surface rust. So for the naysayers out there, the people that don't believe what I have to say, save your comments for my second video where you can see the information in detail and the proof that I'll use. When you buy an expensive car like this, $93,000, you're not going to expect rust issues. You're not going to expect that you're going to see things like this on your car. This is not something that, that anybody is going to expect. And if anybody thinks this is okay, that it's normal, this is not normal. That's not surface rust on a, on a nut that won't come off that bolt without deteriorating it or putting stress on it or causing a further problem. Definitely not years on down the line. This is a serious issue and I want to bring light to this issue. You know, I'm not looking for trouble from cars I buy. You know, I'm putting rock guards on my car and I notice this, notice this stuff staring at me here. So people need to be aware of this. You know, people need to see what's being put on cars because I promise you, that's not surface rust. That That is years of accumulated rust on that bolt right there. That's not surface rust from transportation. This is not a front suspension that was brand new put on my car. This is a front suspension that was sitting out somewhere exposed elements, even accelerated elements for a long period of time. And, and I'm going to go into more detail in my second video. So if you want to make a remark, you want to comment, and you don't want to agree with me, that's fine. Save your remarks for my second video where you can see the proof that I use. Okay? This is not normal stuff. Sorry. That's not transportation rust from, you know, rain or salt. How did it get all this is upper control arm bolt. How did it get up there? Okay? <laughs> Sorry. Not gonna buy it. Not gonna buy it. Definitely not gonna buy it. I mean, I mean, look at that. Look at the amount of rust there. You know, do you think this bolt right here is surface rust? What about that crack? Do you see that crack right there? This is my lower spindle bolt that holds my lower control arm. I'd say that's that bolt right there holds the most amount of stress on my front end right there. That's a lower shock mount right there, lower spindle bolt. On an 800 horsepower car that's tested and advertised to do Mid three seconds, zero to 60, 10 second, mid 10 second quarter mile at 203 miles an hour. Is that safe? Is that safe? Does that look normal? Well, I tell you what, I brought this to the attention of FCA. They've seen the pictures. My car has been inspected. All I want was my front suspension parts replaced. I was told no. I was told no. This does not qualify under a warrantable situation. And that's fine. But I'm going to let the world see this information. I want the world to see this information. I want every person that is thinking about buying an FCA car to go and look underneath that car with a flashlight and see what you're purchasing. Because I promise you, a lot of people, they're not going to put their family in danger. They're not going to put their their parents, their mother, their father, their daughter, their sisters, anybody, their sons or daughters, their children, on a car that's going to come with crack suspension bolts and rust that that is not normal. And, you know, FCA, I waited a week and a half before I posted this video to give you the respect and time to take care of a person with an honest, honest issue. You said no. Okay, that, that's fine. I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. This is a brand new 20, 2018 Dodge Demon. 
same thing. Here's another guy. This is commonplace for FCA. Well, you know what? If you think this is common FCA, well, I want the world to see it then. I want the world to see it. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Please share this video. This video needs to get out there. People need to know what is being put on brand new cars. I'm not done with this situation. Believe me, I'm not done. But I do not feel this is right. I do not feel this is normal. And when you got crack bolts like that, and FCA looked at the pictures in the car, and they th say, sorry. Well, you know what, FCA? I'm sorry, too. I'm sorry, too. Maybe this is why you got a $77 million fine the other day. But I'll tell you what, a lot of people aren't going to buy your cars anymore when they see this information. And you need to think about that. Because the parts of my car that are damaged equal $2,400. And if you feel it's not worth $2,400 in someone's safety, then I hope this video goes viral. Help me let this video go viral. Thank you.